Following the series of videos about free flight airplanes, today we're going to adapt an and automatic electric propulsion system. For that, I'm going to use the circuit that has a programmable microchip. I made this one in a previous video, but I'm going to repurpose it for this project. Let's start. The components we are going to be using are very small and lightweight, which is perfect for this project, because the airplanes we are going to fly are also very small and they have to be very lightweight, otherwise they will struggle flying. The heaviest component we will use in this system is the battery, but that's almost always the case. The previous task of this circuit was to blink an LED with a different pattern, but today we are going to reprogram it to activate the motor, work for a few seconds and then shut it down. Actually this circuit is very simple and so is the programming. The program consists of very basic instructions that anyone learning Arduino knows. The components we are going to use are very easy to find and very cheap. We're going to be using one cell batteries that are used in these tiny whoop drones. The motors are also part of these drones and they are DC. They are very easy to control with a PWM signal. You can also find these motors in toy airplanes, but you can buy them from China very cheaply. I'm going to use several of the free flight airplanes that we did in previous videos. I'm going to leave the links in the description below. As you know, I'm using Arduino to program this microchip the Atani 85 and the code is extremely simple it's just about activating an output for the motor and another one for the LED light the LED light indicates when the system is powered and the motor is about to start so when I connect the battery the LED lights up indicating that the system is waiting so it waits for a few seconds then it blinks telling me that the motor is about to start and then the motor starts few seconds goes by and then the motor stops. And that's how simple it is. The idea behind this system is that the airplane flies but not too much so we don't lose it. Very simple indeed. In this project I save a lot of time because this circuit was already made from a previous video. I always design my circuits on ECDA and order them from JLC PCV, which is the sponsor of this video. If you want to make a cool science project involving a PCV or you just want to design a circuit for your electric propulsion system for your free flight airplanes, JLC PCV got you covered and the quality is always good. Of course this circuit needs some improvements and modifications to adapt it to this application, like adding a push button or a potentiometer so we can select the flight time, a switch so we don't have to disconnect and connect the battery all the time, but all of this will happen in another iteration. For now, I'm going to use this as a prototype and that will do the job. Well, I'm going to test this system in four different free flight airplanes and let's see how it works. This is the first time I'm going to test the system. The first airplane is going to be this one, which is very small and lightweight. It was originally designed for indoor free flight. You may be wondering why I don't launch the airplane as soon as the motor starts to run. And that's because this is a small place and the motor runs for about 10 seconds and that's enough time to lose it because it can fly up to the roof of some house or to another street. The system works great, very nice but I need more space. The next day I went to a bigger park, but still it's not big enough to fly this at its full potential. And because of the quarantine, I cannot go to the model airplane club, where I have lots of space to test this. This airplane has flown very good, 
Of course, as any other free flight airplane, it requires a bit of tuning so it can fly a lot better. I'm not an expert in free flight airplanes, but it's okay that it flies in circular patterns so it doesn't fly away from you and then you lose it. The idea is that it flies in circular patterns and climbs a bit and then when the motor shuts down, it can glide down safely. Remember that the center of gravity is super important. Another thing that will affect the flight pattern a lot is the torque produced by the motor and the propeller. These two will produce a torque to the opposite direction of the rotation of the propeller, making the airplane lean to that direction. So as long as the motor is running, the airplane is going to turn to the opposite direction of the rotation of the propeller. If you want to avoid that, you can offset the motor to one side to counteract this effect. Also, if the airplane pitches up when the motor is running, you can offset the motor downwards a bit. The only problem with this model airplane is that this is made for indoor flight and it wasn't designed to hold that much weight, so it broke several times. Let's try with a different model. Placing this system on any of the airplanes is very easy. It's just three different components, the motor, the circuit board and the battery. And you can put everything in place using tape, glue or anything similar. And because the battery is the heaviest component, you have to place it in a place where it's favorable for the center of gravity. Okay, let's launch it. It turns out that this airplane flies very good with this system. I guess it is because this airplane is made to fly faster. It is also very stable and so far it is the winner. I'm getting some very good flights out of this combination. Let's keep watching some other flights. This is the third model we're going to fly. I made this one a very long time ago in the channel, but it's not the best design, so it didn't fly for as long as the other airplanes.
is the moment of flight the Widgeon, which is a very nice and well made free flight model and we did it in the previous video, I'll leave the link on the screen and in the description below. For this airplane I chose a bigger motor and I also made a balsa wood nose for the fuselage to hold the motor in place. I also reprogrammed the running time of the motor so it can fly a bit longer. Since I cannot go to a big park, I tried to take off from an empty parking lot and let's see how it went. I tried to make it take off from the ground, but the torque of the motor made it turn around and it was a disaster. Also something that I didn't mention is that when I chose this bigger motor and connected it to the circuit, sometimes the circuit would reset when starting the motor. So to solve that I connected a big capacitor, but it might be a good idea also to use a diode, but I will figure out later. As suspected, the Widgeon also flew very well. Of course, this is a very well made airplane, specifically made for free flight. It's a shame that we couldn't fly it in a bigger space, but that will have to be in another video. If you want to build the Widgeon, I recommend you watch this video, or you can also watch this other video specifically chosen for you. Consider subscribing if you haven't done it already and I'll see you in the next project.